Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you an affordable book that you can get to learn discrete mathematics. It's a book that I read portions of and I thought it was very well written. It's very to the point. It's actually right here. It's this one here. It's called Introductory Discrete Mathematics, written by V.K. Balakrishnan. This is a beautiful book. Um, it's a Dover book. Dover is a publishing company which takes old books that are harder to find out of print and they reprint them, which makes them way more accessible. Let me give it a whiff here. Oh yeah, my copy smells really, really good. Let's take a quick look at the contents. So this would be something that um, you would learn as a computer science major. Uh, if you were a computer science major in the US, you are required usually to take a course on discrete math, usually two courses, but certainly at least one. And yeah, so I've taken a course on discrete math. I used to be a computer science major for a while, so I had the privilege of taking a course. I was very lucky. Very good course. Very good stuff. You learn a lot. Set theory and logic, that's where it starts. And it's, it's really to the point. Like, it's very direct. We'll look at it in a minute. And then we have pages are, there we go. Combinatorics. Again, I've, I've actually read that entire chapter. Generating functions, recurrence relations, graphs and digraphs, more on graphs and digraphs, trees and their applications. Got quite a bit of content, as you can see. Spanning tree problems, shortest path problems, what is MP completeness? And you have answers to selected exercises. Now, that was a lot of content. I went through it pretty quickly. Now, look at the size of the book. Right, so hardcore. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Right, um, it's it's uh, it's a good book though. Like if you know math, like if you know some math, like and you have experience reading math books, you can sit down and read this and and get a lot from it. Um, it helps to have a pencil and stuff so you can work stuff out though, obviously. But you see here, you have some answers. Very nice, right? Very nice of Balakrishnan to give us some answers to selected exercises. Mm -hmm. notice, notice he was doing the odds, but then there's like a big leap here, right? What happened? They were probably just like proofs, uh, although here looks like he's giving a little proof stuff. So for some reason, those were omitted. Not everything is, it's not just the odds. It's less than the odds. It's selected exercises. Kind of nice. Let me give another whiff. Let's look how it starts. You can see what you think about it. There's no perfect discrete math book. They're all, I mean, it's hard, right? So I think you should just have as many books as possible. That's what I do. That's why I collect books. Set theory and logic. So it just starts talking about a set. The concept of a set plays a very significant role in all branches of modern mathematics. Yes, it does. And finite and infinite sets. I always think it's finite, and then it's, why is it not infinite? Right. It's finite and infinite. I guess you could say finite and infinite. Subsets of a set and the empty set. Hmm. It, see how quickly it goes through stuff? <laughs> the power of a set. So it's very, it's very to the point. So that's why I said like if you already know some math, it's a little bit easier to read. But look at this is clean. This is clean mathematics. Really good examples here. Very nice. It's computing some compositions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so it helps if you know how to write proofs. That's going to be a big thing. Um, that, that could be very helpful uh, with a book like this. I mean, look at the exercises, right? Pro a lot of proofs and stuff. So you really want to have some proof writing. I think that's Helpful. It's a pretty hardcore book. Pretty hardcore book. There are there are easier books than this one. I have other books that are easier. Um, this is an, this is an older book. If we look at the copyright, let's see. Let's take a really close look at the copyright on this one. See, it says ninety one. Hmm. But I feel like I don't know. Is it is it ninety one? I guess it's ninety one. Yeah, I thought I thought it might be older. 
Oh, yeah. No, 91, and then this one is from 96. Okay. So the original one is from 91. Yeah, I just... Some of the other books I have on discrete math are a little bit easier than this one. Like some of the big, thick textbooks, like the one by Grimaldi or the one by Rosin. I feel like they're a little more gentle than this one. And I only say that because um, they those have specific sections or chapters where they discuss proof writing, whereas this... I mean, you're just throwing with the wolves, right? So, but if you know some proof writing, this is way more compact. It's way easier to carry with you. It's way cheaper. Uh, it's way smaller. So the, the those other books I'm talking about are big. They're like, well, here's one right here. Look, here is the, here's the Grimaldi book. Look how thick this is compared to, compared to Balakrishnan, right? See that? So you can read this in bed. You don't want to read this in bed? Probably not. This thing is huge. It's a behemoth. So yeah, both both great books. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this one. This one is really good. It's affordable. I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Take care.